Hello, hello, hello. Amphrey Daddy here, your pop culture psychic, back again with another celebrity reading. This time it's on Jamie Lynn Spears and Britney Spears once again. So you haven't seen my last reading on these two. I'll put a link up to it over here. I still stand by that. I do think they're being pit against each other from the family, allegedly. Uh, but I'm going to look at Jamie Lynn. Uh, she just released a book, and Britney says that allegedly it's a bunch of lies. And uh, Britney and Jamie are fighting. Jamie Lynn, uh, the girls are fighting. No. They're fighting on social media. So I'm going to do another reading on them. Or I guess I'm going to do it on Jamie Lynn first and kind of see what's going through her mind and like what her energy is like. And then we'll see Britney. So remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. And let's get us started. Okay. Why is Jamie Lynn Ace of Pentacles reverse? Where's the money going here? Well, she's definitely running out of money, I could tell you that. So, in my opinion, allegedly, for entertainers only, the, the book is a cash grab because Miss Mamas is running out of money, um, for sure. Um, and she needs money. Um, the Ten of Cups is the family reversed. So, um, I think the whole family is going to have some money issues soon. Where is Britney's money, by the way? Um, where the fuck is Britney's money? Weren't y'all in charge of the estate? Where's the money? That seems to be missing. Um, I guess sometimes Ace of Pentacles is also about losing money. It could also be like... Sometimes it could be stealing money. I don't know if I see that, though. But so the Queen of Wands is her. She's an Aries. She is reversed. Um, so right now she's pissed off and she's lashing out. Um, I think that Jamie Lynn is lashing out her entire family. Um, I actually think... I mean, her and Brittany clearly have the same trauma. They grew up in the same area and household. But... I think Jamie Lynn is just in her I hate everyone in my family era, um, including Brittany. I think that's just where she's at. Um, it seems like she's just very angry. Um, I think she's very angry. Yeah. So she's projecting her dad, daddy issues. So this is dad. He's an emperor. He's in control. He's in charge. The king of wands is aggression. And the king of swords is um, communication. Um, and it's also selfishness and stuff. So her dad definitely has had a huge impact in her. I mean, he kind of programmed both of them. So it doesn't shock me here. Um, I think she's recreating her daddy issues in her relationships as well. I don't know much about her husband, but... Um, I'd be shocked if her husband was very different from her um, dad. Um, maybe slightly different, but deep down, I think that he's very similar. I think she's repeating patterns of behavior, allegedly for entertainers only. Um, I just see a very controlling, dominant thing. Um, that's not to say that she's not dominant energy herself, but I think that she is very used to going along with what other people do. Um not that she's not an individual, what I'm saying is like, if other people started something, I think her trauma response is to continue it rather than fight it. And then when people fight her on it, that's when she gets aggressive. Um, the Justice card's upright, the Page of Swords upright, and the Two of Swords. So the Justice card is about something legal. A legal separation, page of swords, an opportunity not an opportunity worth fighting for, justice card upright and two of swords, separating from something legally i think that she may be able to i think that's the conservatorship so it does look to me like she was able to separate herself from the conservatorship daddy used her i think jamie used her because look this is this is when she says that she wanted to separate herself from everything, she's not lying about that part. Okay? She's not. Um, and when she says that she did try to fight for Britney in the beginning, I don't think she's lying either. But there's somebody in the middle here. I saw this in my last reading. I don't think Jamie Lynn knows the truth. I don't think Jamie Lynn knows reality. I like it's so weird to me because I do think that she's she was able to sever herself from something. I'm wondering if Jamie Lynn got screwed over similar to, similarly similarly to how Teresa Judice did, where Teresa signed something that without knowing, or maybe someone forged allegedly forged Jamie's signature on stuff. Jamie Lynn is 
Okay, I don't want to roast Jamie Lynn, okay? I'm saying this to be, I'm saying this the most nice way possible. I don't think she's very intelligent. I think she's a simple girl. And I don't think she knows some of the things that she was doing or signing. Because there's someone here that's kind of pushing her. Maybe it's this Queen of Wands fire sign energy. Because I know this is her, but I'm wondering if it's also related to this, which ha means it has a double meaning. The Page of Pentacles is money and expectations, and the Moon is reversed, which is a revealing of a secret, and the King of Cups is reversed as well, which is um, detachment, emotional detachment. So it's like being a zombie, going through the motions. And the moon is reversed. I think she is telling you the truth, but it's not the actual truth, which means if she thinks it's the truth, there's someone here puppeteering Jamie Lynn. Also, Jamie Lynn must have had some sort of issue with um, Sam Asghari, because this is the Pisces energy of Sam Asghari, and there's a secret that Jamie Lynn might spill about Sam or knows about Sam. I wonder if Jamie Lynn and her camp are going to start talking about Sam Ascari coming for Sam Ascari again. They definitely want to separate Brittany and Sam up. And I've told you with that relationship, something's a little bit off. So yeah, I wonder if they're going to try to come after Sam again and say that he's just like a gold digger or something. This is about being petty. So the two of them, I definitely, are, they're definitely going to be petty to each other. They're both going to throw shots. I actually think this is going to get pretty public. Um, actually, I actually think Brittany and Jamie are going to, Jamie Lynn are going to get public in their feud even more. So I know they've gone back and forth on Twitter a couple times. They're going to keep doing it because Jamie Lynn has had it, but Jamie Lynn's an idiot. I I'm saying this with all respect and love. She's an idiot. She doesn't realize she's being puppeteered. Brittany is smart. Brittany knows that they're puppeteering her. Cause I know, cause I remember in one of the things Jamie Lynn had said, like, Brittany, you're saying different things in text than in, than on, than on the internet. And like, you're hurting our family. But I don't think I don't think she realizes that like they're both being fed shit from other people and they're trying to pit the two of them against each other. Like I said in my last reading, it's so much easier to get the two sisters to take the fall than for the other people involved. Um, but I see them being petty. I see a lot of rejection and butt hurt. The Ten of Pentacles tells me that it's a, there's a lot of arguing over money though. Like, yeah, and that's been going on for a while. There's something about Sam, though. I'm telling you, there's something about Sam related to all this, Sam Ascari. I don't know if they have tea on him or they're going to start spilling stuff or feeding the blogs or maybe Jamie Lynn is just going to post something about him or maybe he's going to post about her. There's just something. Probably because Brittany said Sam got her the medicine. They're not going to like that. Because this is about like a white knight, someone who's like a knight in shining armor, and the tower is restructuring from drama and the king of pentacles, which is sturdy energy. But that's also like career. So they're be like, yeah, he can't, he's only nice to you for your career. They've been fighting for forever, though, her and Jamie Lynn. The Seven of Swords is a victory, but they both need to be selfless. I, again, I do see the potential for Jamie Lynn and Brittany to work this out and to work together, but they're going to have to fucking fight like cats and dogs. Jamie Lynn and Britney Spears need to fight like cats and dogs and get it all out. I don't know if anyone has a sibling, but as someone that's a sibling, I recognize this fucking energy. They just need to fucking fight. They just need to let it all out after all these years. They need to fucking argue and fight, and they need to scream and yell at each other and get it out. They have to. They need to curse each other out, let their feelings out, and then let it go. They have to fight. That is literally what needs to happen. Otherwise, it's going to remain like this forever. And Jamie Lynn is going to start shit, by the way. She's an Aries, so I'm not shocked. Brittany's a Sagittarius. They're going to fight. And I'm pretty sure that Jamie Lynn is going to start shit now because Jamie Lynn wants a little bit of petty revenge. The Three of Cups is reversed, the Eight of Eight of Cups is reversed, and the Page of Cups. So I do think there was jealousy. Um, obviously, I mean, Britney Spears is a god amongst mortals, and Jamie Lynn is never going to be anything other than a mortal compared to her sister, and I think anybody in her position would be jealous. I mean, I think if you... So one thing I'll give her credit for, like, I think anybody would be jealous. Britney Spears is literally the most iconic person to ever exist on the planet. Like, she's a human incarnation of an, an immortal god. So, like, you're never going to compare to her. So that's got to do something to your psyche. Damaging, for sure. But at the end of the day, the Three of Cups being reversed, the Eight of Cups reversed, and the Page of Cups tells me that it's not, it's no longer jealousy, and now it's just full-blown, like, detachment and resentment. She's definitely very detached, Jamie Lynn, from Brittany, emotionally. 
I think Jamelin feels like no one ever forgave her for the shit she did when she was younger. I wonder if I wonder if that's where she's stuck. So Jamie, okay. Jamie Lynn was an embarrassment to her family. This probably has to do with her getting pregnant or at sixteen or whatever. Um, Jamie Lynn was an embarrassment to her family, and so I think she had. Okay, Jamie Lynn feels like she was an embarrassment to her family, and she's like, if I had to conform, so do you. Why did I have to do all of this shit while Britney got to do whatever the fuck she wanted? Why did I have to do all this, but Britney can do it? I, I was the embarrassment, but Britney, Britney can do this. Britney can be this crazy. Britney can do this. She can have this problem, but I'm the embarrassment to the family. Really? Britney's out here doing this, but it's me. That's what I'm hearing. That's literally what I'm hearing. That's literally, I'm the embarrassment. Really? That's what I'm hearing. Because that's like the internet. It's also moving away. That's Jamie Lynn wanting to move away from all of them. The way Jamie Lynn didn't want to even talk to her family anymore, but felt obligated to. You want to know what's really sad? And I, I'm again, I'm not trying to make you feel empathy for Jamie Lynn because I know most of you hate her. I do have some empathy for her. I will tell you the only reason that Jamie Lynn continued to stay close to her family is because of Brittany. I think that she would have cut them off if Britney wasn't there, because I actually do believe her when she says that a part of her is protective over Britney. And if you remember the most, that iconic clip of Britney during like 2007 or whatever, or 2009, I don't remember where uh, someone is like harassing Britney on the street and Jamie Lynn just goes, then move the fuck out. That's real. The temperance card is about patience and balance. And it's like, I give to you, you give to me. And the high priestess is they might not have trust and they need to heal. But the devil card here tells me that there's a part of her that's like almost like toxically connected to her. If that makes sense. Like trauma bonded. And I think a part of her almost feels like a mom to Brittany in a weird way, even though she's the younger sister. It's weird. They have a fucked up dynamic. They have a fucked up dynamic. It's almost like she wants to like take care of Brittany, but she can't because there was resentment and there was jealousy. Like it's really fucked up, even though she's the younger sister. The strength card is stubbornness and the nine of swords verse. Also, Brittany is very stubborn, by the way. Very, very stubborn. Love Brittany to death, but I'm going to be honest here. I have to be a little bit impartial here. Brittany is extremely stubborn and very, 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 very rigid in what she wants and what she needs. So it's, you're dealing with someone who is not going to budge and you're dealing with another person with a ton of trauma. So I guess it makes sense, but Brittany is very stubborn. If Brittany wants something, she's going to do it. It doesn't matter. Other people are in the middle of this. I think, oh, divorce or separation. I don't know where that's coming from. Cherry reverse, slowing down. Was somebody gonna love to get married? Or did somebody break someone's relationship up? Oh. Did the family break up one of did the family break up one of Jamie Lynn's relationships in honor of Brittany? Hierophant breakup, chariot slowing down, nine of cups manifestation, five of wands fighting, queen of pentacles career. I'm wondering if she wasn't allowed to be with someone because of the public image. And I wonder if that was the beginning of this resentment. There was, there's someone here that I feel like she wanted to be with or, or liked. And her family was like, no, you can't cause it's going to look bad. And I think she was like, are you kidding me? I look bad. Brittany is literally doing this crazy shit and I'm the one that looks bad. That's the key. I think that was the start. I think that was the catalyst to the beginning of their big rift. I think this particular incident was like the very first time where the two of them started to pull apart from each other. Because she's like, Brittany's being fucking crazy and you guys don't care. I have to do this? That's, I think, where it started. I wonder if it's when she got pregnant with Zoe 101 or whatever. Jamie Lynn is so angry. 
she is so angry. It's all misplaced anger. She's also, again, with all due respect, an idiot, and she's listening to bigger idiots. The Nine of Pentacles is other people, the Seven of Wands upright, and the Ten of Wands reverse. I think that she's codependent. You know how, like, some people who are with abusive parents, allegedly, or, you know, narcissistic people, whatever, they become codependent? I think she's codependent. I think she's Stockholm syndromed. I also think she got frustrated at Britney just never listening to her and being stubborn. But there, she's not lying, guys. She is very protective of Britney still. I know that's fucked up. I know you don't want to believe that, but I do actually believe that. There is a part of her, she's not going to admit this publicly, there's a part of Jamie Lynn that does actually feel like she failed as a sister. And I do think that she's had conversations with her about this. And if she hasn't, she will. I do think she feels like she failed as a sister. The five of cups is disappointment. The nine of cups is a smaller than a king. So that makes me think younger. And then because the five of pentacles is like an age discrepancy or power dynamic difference. That's the two of them. So I feel like a part of her feels guilty and she feels like she was um, a shitty sister. And I think that's why she shut it out and just ignored it because it was easier to just ignore than to face the fact that she has a lot of guilt over being a shitty sister when she was younger. Yep, I was young and naive and stupid. Also, again, they were brought up in the same way, so she's just as easily trusting of bad people as Britney was. Look, this is her mom and dad. Like, I don't think people realize that mom and dad have a very strong fucking impact on both sisters. The two of cups is upright, which means it fuck. They they have a fucked up definition of relationships, and the two of them experience the same trauma, y'all. They used. Jamie Lynn to piss Britney off too, by the way. They wanted to, any, anytime Britney didn't listen, they just used Jamie Lynn and boosted Jamie Lynn's career, or did something. Jamie Lynn is a pawn, you guys. She's a fucking pawn. I, I'm telling you, she's a pawn. I'm not saying she's innocent, okay? And I'm, I don't like the bitch right now either, but I'm being honest with you. She's a fucking pawn. She's an idiot. The Ace of Wands is upright. I'm trying to be nice, but, like, I'm just getting mad because I'm like, dude, like, wake up. You have the fucking ability to set this straight. What are you doing? What, who are you afraid of? Wake up. Whatever. It just makes me upset. All right. That's it. I'm done. I don't want to even look at this anymore because it just gets me very, 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 very upset. I still have hope for Jamie Lynn. I do think Jamie Lynn will crack eventually. I think she's the weakest link. Um, so I think she will crack. So hopefully she'll be on our side soon. That's it. If you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my people down below. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and for Daddy. Until next time, bye.